types of changes in matter. There are two types of changes in matter, physical changes and chemical changes. Physical change The change that takes place in matter without forming any new matter is called physical change. The substance, however, changes in its appearance and or state. Water turning into water vapor and melting of wax on heating are examples of physical change. Breaking of toys results in a physical change. Chemical change The change that takes place in matter resulting in formation of a new substance is called a chemical change. This new substance is different from the original substance. Cooking food always results in a chemical change. Solutions Let us do this activity to understand soluble and insoluble substances. Take half a glass of clean water. Add a tablespoon of salt to this water and stir it. The salt dissolves in the water and we can no longer see it. We call a substance that dissolves in a liquid as solute. The water into which the salt has dissolved now tastes salty. The liquid into which a solute dissolves is called a solvent and the liquid that we get as a result is called a solution. When we dissolve salt into water, we get a salt solution. We cannot see the salt but can taste its saltiness. We can thus say that salt is a water-soluble substance. Alum and sugar are some water-soluble substances. When sand or mud is stirred in water, they do not dissolve in water. We can say that sand and mud are insoluble substances. Not all solids are solutes. Sugar and salt are solutes in water, but tea powder is not. Matter We are surrounded by different things or substances, some living, some non-living, some natural, some man-made. But there is one thing common in all of them. Matter. Everything or substance that exists in nature is made up of matter. Matter is anything that occupies space and has weight. A table, a chair, a jug of water, a plant, an insect or an animal, honey, the air we breathe, even a cloud are examples of matter. States of Matter Matter can exist in three states, solid, liquid, and gaseous. All matter is made up of tiny particles called molecules. We can define a molecule as the smallest substance in matter that can exist independently. Even a tiny grain of salt is made up of numerous 
tiny molecules of salt. Molecules are microscopic but are constantly in motion. Their arrangement determines the state of the matter, solid, liquid or gas. Solids Hold your book in your hands and feel its hardness. It also has a certain shape and it occupies a definite space. In solids, the molecules are tightly packed. Examples of solids would be an ice cube, wood, metals such as copper, iron, aluminium. Liquids Can you hold water in your palms? You can't because it will flow out of your fingers. Liquids are matter whose molecules are not as densely packed as solids. They occupy a definite space. However, unlike solids, they have more space between their molecules and thus do not have a definite shape. Liquids can be poured into a vessel and take the shape of that vessel. Gases Gas is matter in which the molecules are very loosely packed. That is why they do not have a definite shape and can flow even more easily than liquids. Carbon dioxide, oxygen and water vapor are examples of gases. Changes in states of matter Matter can exist in different states. Changes in states of matter can occur when matter is either heated or cooled. When ice, that is solid state of matter, is heated, it changes to water, that is liquid state, and on further heating, it changes into water vapor, that is gaseous state. Similarly, when water vapor, that is gas, is cooled, it changes into water, that is liquid, and on further cooling, the water changes into ice, that is solid. <laughs>